Now, when you print off a page, it doesn't print it just like you see it here. So at the top of the page, you got Dreamforce and you got no padding. Those are called margins. And if you come up here and click on the File tab, go down to Print, you can see over in the Print Preview, you've got some padding there, some space. That's your top margin, padding to the left, left, and right margins in the bottom. If you want to go ahead and try to squeeze more data onto your page, like if you have another column, go ahead and try to tweak your margins like the left and right, make them smaller so you can add another column. To do that, you can do it, well, while you're here in the Print Preview area, go down and click on the Page Setup link. Go to the Margins tab, and there you go. You've got your top, bottom, left, and right. You get a little preview window so you get an idea of what it's going to be looking like, where the margins are at. So if I go ahead and toggle all the way up to maybe 5 inches from the top, and let's say the left, we do, oh, maybe an inch. Well, see, if you want an inch and a half, and by using the spin dials, it doesn't get you there, then go ahead and type over it, and then click OK and see what it looks like. Oh, look at all that padding. Well, that's going to push everything over several pages and give me a lot of blank space. So if I go to page 2, you get that padding for the margin, the top margin, on every single page. And that's not working for me. So we can go ahead and either go back to the page setup link or you can click on the drop down arrow here and you can see that the last custom setting is the one that we have now for the margins or pick one of these built in ones. Like if you want the top to be three quarters of an inch and the bottom left and right or you can go down to custom margins. Brings up the same page setup window and you got your margins tab or you can go ahead and click cancel. In the lower right hand corner in the print preview you can show the margins. And here you can actually click and drag and move your margins around. So if you don't like it right there, just go ahead and hover over the top margin until you can see arrows pointing up and down. Click and drag and push it up and push it up some more. And that looks about right. But if you're like, oh, I want it to be exactly one inch, you can look over to the left hand side and you can see now it's at left one inch. When I click and drag it and move it over a little bit more, it updates it to 0.83. So that's for the left and right. If you want to get the top and bottom exactly right as far as numerically, maybe exactly three quarters of an inch, then you're back to your page setup and going to the margins tab and we can go, well, let's just go one and then one. Let's do one for all of them. Left, type in one, right, type in one and click OK. Now something's going on here because instead of two pages, I've got three. When I go to the third page, I'm like, well, there's nothing there. Sometimes it bumps it just enough that it'll actually create a third blank page. And to get around that, we've got to shrink our left and right margins because apparently it's creating that third blank page. So if I come over here and click and drag this over just a little bit, I still have three pages. How about the right over just a little bit? Okay, a little bit more. Hey, there we go. Now we finally are able to fit this all on two pages and not three. Now you can do it backstage here, or if you don't want to go backstage, and by the way, to turn off the show hide margins, click on show margins to turn them off. Let's click the back arrow. You go to the page layout tab, and you can click on the expandable dialog box button for page setup. You get the same window. You just have to click on the margins tab or close out. You can click on the margins drop down arrow, get the last custom setting, and also some defaults, or you can go to custom margins, brings up the same page setup window, but it takes you right to the margins tab of the window. And then of course you can go ahead and make your changes there as well. And in addition to that, you can center the data. If it doesn't fit all on one page, you can do it horizontally and vertically. So if you just have it filling up half a page, do it vertically and it shifts it down. So it's in the middle vertically or in the middle horizontally. So it shifts it over. So if I do a print preview and let's go to page two, well, the remainder of the data gets shifted down, positioned vertically, so it's in the middle of it. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's positioning it with the margins that we've got horizontally. And then, of course, from this window, you can click Page Setup, go to Margins, and uncheck that, and do whatever else you need to do to tweak it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.